What is up YouTube? It's your boy God King Futz and I'm here today to show you how you can get your hands on the new Spaz 12 Combat Shotgun in GTA Online that just launched with the Kyle Perico heist. Now there's a lot of guys online that are spreading a lot of misinformation that's off base or just completely wrong. A lot of people have been looking on Google and if you have you might have noticed a map that looks something like this. But your boy Futz has updated it with all nine locations and proof of their exact locations with clips of me grabbing it. So guys it's a lot to get into. Let's get into it. So if you've been playing GTA Online since the Kyle Perico heist update, you've likely noticed some players running around showing off their fancy new Spaz 12 shotgun. But you can't just buy it in the store, so how do you find it? If that's a question that you're asking, this video is going to show you all of the secret locations of the new combat shotgun so you can get it yourself. Now, like I said, without naming names, there's been a lot of misinformation, so your boy Futz has updated the map, and we're going to show you how to get the shotgun. For those of you guys that don't already know, the combat shotgun can only be found during the Cayo Perico heist inside El Rubio's compound. So the first location is on the southernmost side of the cliffside leaning up against a railing. The second location is just beneath the catwalk that circles El Rubio's office. It's on the ground floor and I've seen some videos suggesting that the shotgun might actually be up against the wall of Rubio's office just on the outside, but this is the real location. As low as you can go without being inside the basement for shotgun location number two. The third location is going to be just southwest of the pool, leaning up against a large water fountain inside this little courtyard. The clip of me actually collecting the shotgun was unfortunately corrupted, so I included a screenshot as proof. The fourth and fifth combat shotgun locations are going to be located around the pool on the east side of the compound. Now there's a lot of misinformation here, so to clarify, the first one is up against this pole right here. And the second location is going to be just behind you inside this little gazebo leaning up against the table. Again, the map will explain none of this to you, so make sure that you share this video to anybody that might be struggling. The sixth location for the combat shotgun is super easy in the northeast side of the map leaning up against this potted plant. Now, a lot of guides are going to tell you for some reason that it's up inside the guard tower near here. It's not. This is going to be the location right here just leaning up against the plant. Shotgun location number six. The seventh location for the combat shotgun is, in my opinion, the hardest one to find because there are precisely zero guides on the internet telling you where this location is. It's on the north side of the compound, facing south, leaning up against this little area here with the garden and the purple flowers on the right. You'll notice two keypads right above the steps there. That's where you're going to want to go for shotgun location number seven. The 8th location is another difficult one as there's not much information about its location online. Just head to the northwest part of the map and amongst some hedges you're going to notice a large tree. Leaning up against that tree is going to be shotgun location number 8. Guys, side note, I recommend you do this without the alarms going off. It is much easier if you just kill all the guards first. Shotgun location number 9, another one where there is a little bit of misinformation as this is the only shotgun location located inside one of these watchtowers is going to be just above the main gate. You'll see the stairs to get up here just to the left of the main gate and you'll find the shotgun leaning up against the benches here with the red pillows. Once you've got your hands on the new combat shotgun, go ahead and finish the heist then make your way to your local ammunition to pick it up for a measly $271,000. Make sure you pick up the military rifle at this point if you haven't already. And another side note guys, if you're one of those people that think that the shotgun is not spawning in, seriously believe me it is, you're just looking in the wrong places. Make sure you make your way to your gun locker to edit your loadout once you've got the shotgun. Now onto the part of the video that I know a lot of you clicked here for. You want to know is the new combat shotgun any good and how does it compare to the other shotguns we already have in the game? Well, your boy Futz is here to assure you that the new combat shotgun is not just for showing off. It's got a good combination of a tight spread like the pump action shotgun with the automatic capabilities of the assault shotgun. And if you've watched my ultimate PVP guide video, I know that you know that your pump action shotgun is upgraded to Mark II with explosive rounds, so we'll be comparing it to the assault shotgun for the purposes of today's video. So shotguns do rely on a little bit of RNG, but right off the bat, you can tell that this shotgun has a smaller spread than the assault shotgun. 
Assuming you're killing an NPC who will ragdoll the minute you hit them with a single pellet, and an insta-kill from a pellet to the head, the assault shotgun will put out more rounds and cause more damage per second. However, when dealing with players or NPCs with particularly high health, the combat shotgun is going to pack a bigger punch with a smaller spread. Now, the assault shotgun, like I said, is going to pack a little bit more damage per second, but if you're fighting somebody that needs more than six shots to actually take down, you're likely using the wrong weapon or you should really start aiming for the head. Which is where I think that the combat shotgun really starts to shine. Take out multiple enemies from a distance with headshots with the combat shotgun more successfully than the assault shotgun. As far as the actual lock on distance goes, the combat shotgun and the assault shotgun both share the exact same lock on distance. But obviously the combat shotgun at a greater distance is going to pack more of a punch. As far as the actual damage for the shotgun goes, it's hard to determine simply because of the fact that the spread of the shotgun pellets is heavily based in RNG. What I can tell you is from the testing process, the assault shotgun actually took an extra shot to take out enemies. So it all really depends on what your situation is. If you have multiple enemies, you might want to go with the assault shotgun. If it's just an enemy or two, I think the combat shotgun will work just fine. If you've been playing the Cayo Perico heist a lot, you know as well as I do that most of the setup missions are going to have you in close quarters combat, which makes the combat shotgun an absolutely perfect weapon for taking out NPCs, whether you're raiding a warehouse or infiltrating a submarine. If you're still sort of struggling as to what shotgun to use in what situation, combine what I took in this video with my ultimate guide to PvP, and I promise you guys will have a much clearer understanding of when you should and shouldn't be using the combat shotgun. And that is basically that, guys. The God King Futz Guide to the Combat Shotgun, Combat Shotgun Review, how to find it, and everything that you need to know. Now, with that being said, guys, there is one more thing I want to go over. I've started a crew in GTA Online, Nucking Futz Co. It's an open crew, so anybody can join. Feel free to join, and if you make Futz your active crew, I will shoot you a promotion. And with that being said, guys, that is basically that. I just want to let you guys know I appreciate every single one of you. We just hit 300 subscribers as a channel, something I never thought I'd be able to accomplish, and we're on the road to 1,000 subs. So feel free to drop a like if you liked what I did today. Sub up to the channel so we can get new content in the future without that damn Kind Master logo watermark in the top right corner. Guys, I edit all of my videos on my cell phone. I don't even have a desktop computer, so feel free to like and subscribe.